This is a continuation from last week's Fender Baseball Bat episode. Okay, so pretty much every team got a limited edition Fender guitar and bat that was painted by a local artist around the team. You can bid on them at the MLB auction site, I'll leave a link in the description. But they also had all these on display. But let's get into these guitars. It seems all of them are listed at an open auction starting at $2,000. All the net proceeds from the auction will benefit MLB charities though. The specs for each guitar seems to be the same. You can see them here. I won't read them to you. But let's go ahead and start looking at them. In my local leagues, I played on the Braves, I played on the Yankees, and I played on the Diamondbacks team. This isn't what I would normally think of when I think New York Yankees. But I see what he was doing here. He was encapsulating the whole city on these guitars and bats. Very colorful. And here's the artist who did it. Ooh, here's a cool one. I love the white socks design on this. The whole black and white. It even has little music notes on it. It's got the socks logo. And I like how the bat has the matching music note star pattern as well as the guitar. <laughs> and it even continues on to the back. That's beautiful, man. Good job. Here's one for the twins. I like how happy and bright this one is. It has thunderbolts raining out of the sky that is the threads of a baseball. I like that. I could see a mascot playing this in a game, and that's a beautifully crafted bat right there. I'm digging this one. Looks like this is the guy that did that one. This is the one they did up for the Tigers. It's, it's got an interesting vibe to it. I don't know if it's my favorite, but what I like is that he also painted the pickups. Not every artist did that. I'm wondering if they were like, are, are we supposed to do this or not? The bat kind of looks generic to me, just like what they would normally do for a limited edition or something. Oh, that's a nice touch. You see the records? That's probably Detroit Rock City. Nice touch there. Good save. Here's his Instagram page. Kansas City Royals. I like the rainbow theme to this one. That's kind of funny. Looks like, is that a submarine? I'm not really familiar with Kansas City and what they've got going on, but it looks like there's a birdie on there for badminton. That's always fun, but isn't this baseball? <laughs> Opted for a blue back. Interesting choice. If you go to his Instagram page, you can see as it was being built. That's kind of cool. Oh... Wow, the Rockies. I haven't even heard of this team. <laughs> that shows you how out of touch I am with professional baseball. I love this. It's realistic, but not too realistic. But I love the attention to detail. Again, they painted even the bridge on this one. Not only just the pickup covers, but all the way up the neck. They left nothing uncovered except for the headstock. They're probably too scared to cover over the Fender logo or something. The bat's kind of cool, not as cool as the guitar though. I'm a little bit sad to see the back is just natural, but it probably took a long time to do that. He's like, oh, this is all I got. Or he wants you to appreciate the craziness and completeness of the front and the natural beauty of the back. I could see myself bidding on that. His name's Christopher Clark. He's got some pretty interesting artwork on here. Looks like that's what he looks like and that's the guitar he was given before it was all painted. Now we've got the reds. This one, it just seems like a basic advertisement. I think they went exactly for what Fender probably wanted these to be. Just a very nice tasteful display piece for someone. Even the baseball bat, it's not too overly crazy. It's just commemorative. Cool. He also chose to leave it blank on the back. And here's his Instagram page. Now we've got the red socks. Hmm. This, this only looks halfway done. I mean, they did a fantastic job on that baseball field. That looks great. But then it's just plain. But here's why that's okay. Because the baseball bat has the same thing going on. Half of it's plain, just like the guitar. But you can give this guy credit because if you move on to the back, he did some extra work here. Oh, guess I was wrong. It's a she. She did some nice work. You can see her here with both of her creations. You know, the more and more I look at it, as compared to some of the crazier ones we might see later on, there is a real simplicity to them that I think might attract a certain buyer. <laughs> I like this one, the Rays. It's kind of childish looking, but the Manta Rays, they're cool, right? Under the sea. I really like that baseball bat. They've got that whole coral and hidden treasure thing going on. That's kind of cool. I don't think I would use it in a professional game, but I could see myself displaying it. And a nice blue back. 
It looks like he might be the creator of this one. You can definitely tell the rest of his artwork definitely has some ocean vibes to it too. I like this one, that's cute. Now moving on to the Rangers. I like this design. I feel like it could be a Fender production model of some type with just a bunch of different colors varying. Kind of reminds me of the Frankenstrat. Should have done the back too, man, but I guess if you really think about it, nobody's gonna see the back. These are display pieces. And her Instagram is Zuzubi. Pittsburgh Pirates. I like this one. It's simple, but straight to the point. You got the pirate man, you got the baseball bat, you got Pittsburgh on it. It looks like the bat was just painted yellow and has the Pittsburgh Pirates on it. It's something about devil chicken on the back, which is apparently the name of his business. He got some great wood grain to work with, so it almost looks like you can't even see everything that he did. It looks like he had to spray over some of those wood grain spots. So it looks like he actually did more than it looked like he did. Now this is a cool one for the Phillies. You know, pure white, it really pops. You got the red, white, and blue stars and stripes. But who, how did he even do that fretboard if that's really paint? He must have had to paint over the frets. So if you actually tried to play this guitar, that'd probably come off. Oh, he even painted over Fender's logo. That's a little naughty. I love the baseball bat too. Something about American flags with thunderbolts just work on a bat, right? He even went as far as painting the back and the back of the neck. Who is this person? Specter Art. Fantastic job, dude. Moving on to the Padres. Looks like a pretty simple design here. Another baseball stadium with the city in the back. Fairly basic baseball bat as well. I guess let's take a closer look here at her video. So it looks like this would actually look a lot cooler in person. Ah. Okay, so now I see you get a little bit more sparkly paint with this thing. Judging by her other art here, it seems like she made the choice just to make it very simple. Her tag is Casey Paintings. Now we've got an Orioles one. It looks like Frank Zappa there in the Baltimore Orioles. That's kind of cool. Got an Oriole living in his hair. So that kind of ties in Frank Zappa fans as well as baseball fans. Nice choice there. Super colorful. I like the bat. Oh man, poor Zappa. He's going to get his eyes bashed out when you hit a home run, though. I'm digging the back on this one. His tag is Matt Muir Head Artist, which look through his stuff. He's got some interesting things. Giant chickens, alien attacking, and giant cats. He seems like he might be a fun guy. Here's the one for Nationals. Doesn't speak to me, but again, I like that he took the time to paint the back. Here's his Instagram. <laughs> Whoa, the Mets. Whoa, this this guy took a lot of time. What is, whoa. Do you guys see this baseball bat? The way he's painted it makes it looks like there's things sticking off of it. Did, did he do a bunch of stickers? It appears he left the back plain. I could imagine why. It probably took forever to do all this. I wish he had a video of him doing this. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on with his bat. But I guess he is known for being a 3D pop artist. The Marlins got another nice one. I think this is the one I saw in Fender's promotional video that made me think, yeah, I think I want to talk about this series. This is what I view as simple and tasteful without being, you know, too simple. I, I'm, a, I'm kind of a fancy guy. I like fancy stuff. I think the only improvement I could have wished for was painted over pickups. At least the neck and middle pickups so we could see more of the Marlins. I think marlins are beautiful creatures. I believe this is the artist right here. You can follow him here. Now we've got the Mariners. I'm not quite sure what this is referencing. A bunch of chains coming out of a hole. This makes it kind of look like an acoustic guitar. And it looks like he might have changed the pickup covers on it. That's interesting. I really like the bat though. It's got a nice kind of a purplish pink. And the little Mariners guy there. And the back is white. Here's what this guy looks like. It looks like he does have some in the process photos here. This is the one ball game I would listen to on the radio sometimes when I was falling asleep because it's the closest one to me. I like the guys that aren't afraid to paint over the Fender logo. That's funny. I'm guessing he didn't paint the back though since there's not a photo. Looks like I was wrong again. I, be I believe this is the artist, Allison Lifman Art. She did a great job on that. Ooh, I like this. It's rustic. 
He aged the pickup covers. He kind of like aged the whole thing into looking like an old bat. I almost think people would buy something that looked similar to this, but without all the baseball stuff on it. I kind of like the streaking that he put into the fretboard and on the headstock as well. Baseball bat's pretty cool too. Nice. And here's his Instagram. The Giants got a pretty basic and simple one. But I guess that's the beautiful thing about this charity auction. I mean, there's going to be people that want the fancy ones and some people that want the more plain ones. Then it also depends what team you like best, too. I, I do like her style for everything else. It looks like she's an animator. So that kind of makes more sense as to why her style looks the way that it does. I can appreciate it more now. Now we've got the Dodgers. I really like that baseball bat, a simple black with some music notes on it. The guitar, it's got the music note thing too. It's pretty nice, but not necessarily my favorite one. But I like what they did with the back, wow. It almost looks like they took the time to gloss the neck black and the back blue. That should be something Fender just does on a limited run. There's not much on this one's Instagram though. How the diamond backs. I mean, this guitar has to be cool, right? It's a snake. It's got the snake skin. It's got kind of a evil cartoony looking snake. That one's cool. Maybe not cool enough for me to buy, but one I could definitely appreciate looking at. The cool red back. I could imagine doing those scales must have took forever. Not only does he have to paint them the first time, then he has to go back through and outline every single one. I mean, this guy, he's got patience and skill. Great job on that. The Cubs, you get the Wrigley Field on there. I like the quirky little face on the baseball. That's another classy design. I would say, oh, oh, look what they did on the fretboard and on the headstock. That's a nice touch. They probably thought I didn't do enough on this guitar. I want to do more. So they did that. It's a natural back. Her name is Lauren Asta. Cardinals. Kind of had an easy topic here. You get to have a little bird rocking out like a rockin' robin, even though it's the Cardinals with all the music notes. I like that one. I could see that bat being at like my grandma's house or something. <laughs> it looks like he might have just started the Instagram because of this. Now we've got the Brewers. This one's interesting. Being from Milwaukee, you think he would have had some sort of alcohol reference on his, but guess not. But I dig the back. Looks like he likes to do street art. This one's pretty good. There's your alcohol. Here's the Braves. You get Roxy on there, Fox. All the big things that are in that area. I like what he's done with the fretboard. It's kind of peculiar that he left that one area still bare maple. But I guess it kind of works because he left it by the nut the same as well as around the Fender logo. Oh wow, and he just went all overboard on the back. Man, I think that is the best back I've seen as far as designing something interesting. You'd need that on a rotating stand for sure. Good job, Parker. And to think, it started as that. Blue Jays get something we've seen already before, just the baseball stadium, but this one, it, it builds on it a little bit more. It shows you the city on top of the field. So I think that's a win right there. And the bat, wow. That must have taken a while to do that bat. There's a lot of different colors and a lot of small details. And it looks like this is the artist. The Oakland Athletics. This was another one that made me want to talk about this series. It's kind of a gecko burst Stratocaster, and that's kind of a, a quirky Gibson finish that it's kind of ugly, but it's cool at the same time, right? It's the team colors in this aspect. It looks like it captures the city as well. Those colors work on that bat. It looks like his neck even got some figuring to it. That's not necessarily his doing, but but he did a great job on the back. I mean, that looks like uh, something Fender would do, except for maybe the headstock top. I don't think they would do a open burst like that. He looks like he'd be a fun guy to be around. He's a fan of the team as well. Nice job. The Astros got kind of an interesting one as well. Looks like the design for the body, fairly straightforward and simple. But I think what makes it is this little smoke trail or whatever. Oh, astronaut man, it's outer space. I get it now, Astros, like astronaut. <laughs> They've got their team mascot on there. That's a cool bat, I love Houston. The painted neck on that one, Looks a bit weird, but I think all it needs is a little bit of sparkly stars to it. This is his account, but it appears to be private. And now the last one is the Angels. 
It looks like, well, I hope they didn't paint a newspaper on it. So maybe they just uh, laid a newspaper on it, clear coated it, and then painted over that. It's kind of got a cool vibe to it all on its own. Even the baseball bat has a similar vibe. As does the back. And it looks like that's the artist right here. Now the guitar looks cooler with a colored background as compared to the pure white. So I think it would have been cool to have seen all these in person and did this video like that. But hey, I did the best I could do. So let me know down in the comments section below which one was your favorite, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.